Chapter 176, Sea of Fire Stop falling, though the cost of activating this thing is not small, no one asked you to use it all the time. At a critical moment, it could possible save your life. Upon seeing Lin Dong's depressed appearance, the small Martin could not help but roll its eyes and say. Other people would be so excited if they obtain this kind of middle rank symbol puppet, it's only 2000 pure yuan pills after all. After hearing the little Martin's words, Lin Dong immediately rolled his eyes. He was no important figure and did not have the support of a great clan. Behind him, there was only an unremarkable and tiny Lin family. AI, fine, I'll just take it as picking up a lousy piece of life insurance. Lin Dong softly sighed. Like the little Martin said, even if the cost to activate this symbol puppet was not small, there are times when it would perhaps be able to achieve a life-changing effect. When comparing 2,000 pure Yuan pills to his life, the latter was more precious. With these thoughts, Lin Dong also raised his hand and kept the symbol puppet into his Qunkin bag. After which, he turned his head to gaze at the broken door nearby. Deeply exhaling a breath of air, he did not hesitate as he beckoned with his hand, taking the lead to slowly walk over, while Little Flame and the small Martin also swiftly followed. After walking through the broken door, what entered his eyes was a huge mess. The remains of many broken symbol puppet limbs covered the floor, while some markings on the ground indicated that an intense battle had occurred here. These were probably left behind by Lin Langtian and the rest. Lin Dong slowly walked within this messy passage, although he did not encounter any treasures, he also did not meet any obstruction. Looks like Lin Langtian and the rest had thoroughly cleaned this place, and anything that would obstruct them had been destroyed by force. In this quietness, Lin Dong walked for about ten minutes as he passed through several spacious and huge HLLS. Towards the end, the traces of battle in these places became increasingly intense. One could tell that the symbol puppets later on were getting stronger and stronger, combined with their numbers, even Lin Langtian would have to make a little effort. Pa. When Lin Dong's steps once again passed through another empty yet extremely messy huge hall, his gaze suddenly paused on curtain of light to his front. This seems to be the end of the passage, with only the curtain of light emitting a faint glow. Lin Dong very carefully walked near that curtain of light before his eyes concentrated on a shattered symbol puppet in front of him. The color of this symbol puppet was exactly the same as the one he had obtained in the from the medicine pool and it also looked to be a middle rank symbol puppet. From the exceedingly fierce scars of battle, it was evident that this symbol puppet had once fought with Lin Langtian and the rest. However, in the end, it was still unable to stop them and had been forcefully destroyed. Even a middle rank symbol puppet that has a power comparable to a form creation stage practitioner is unable to stop them. Lin Dong lowered his head and touched the broken symbol puppet as a serious look flitted across his eyes. These guys were undoubtedly the finest younger generation members of the Great Yan Empire. Such strength truly caused one to gasp in admiration. The symbol inscriptions that the Nirvana stage practitioner had left on this symbol puppet had yet to fade completely, thus, he still possessed the ability to fight. And it is also because of this that they were unable to take it for their own use. Among the younger generation members of the Great Yan Empire, these four are still considered not bad, however, compared to that Nirvana stage practitioner, they still have a long way to go. Even after so many years, the symbol inscription was still not something they could erase. The small Martin sat on Lin Dong's shoulders as it remarked. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head. Truth be told, he was really fortunate to have picked up an ownerless middle rank symbol puppet. If you enter from here, you should reach the core part of the old tomb. Do you plan on entering? It would likely be several times more dangerous inside than before. The small Martin looked at the curtain of light at their front as it spoke. Lin Dong nodded his head and smiled, since we've already reached this place, would we still turn back? As his words were spoken, Lin Dong did not hesitate as he stepped forward and entered the screen of light. The screen of light undulated and his figure disappeared. After seeing this, the small Martin and Little Flame also followed as they dashed into the screen of light. 
After entering the screen of light, darkness appeared before Lin Dong's eyes for a moment and in the next instance, a scarlet red light flooded his eyes. An extremely red hot wave of fire attacked him and forced him to hastily utilize Yuan power to protect his body. After protecting his body, Lin Dong finally had the time to size up his surroundings. Immediately, astonishment colored his eyes, because what appeared before him was actually a scarlet red sea of fire, which was where the wave of heat from before had originated from. These flames should be illusionary right? Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows as he inquired. Whether it's real or fake, who can be sure? This should be a great formation, and it seems to be rather well made. The small marten looked for a while before its claws pointed towards the center of the flaming sea, oh, those few guys also seem to be stuck. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong's gaze hastily shifted to look. Sure enough, he saw a few figures resisting the waves of fire within the flaming sea. Those figures turned out to be Lin Langtian and the rest. Such a strong great formation, to think that it could trap even Lin Langtian and the rest. Lin Dong softly gaped before he spoke again, then, this great formation, I'm afraid we will also be unable to pass. That may not be certain, every formation has its own method of passing through. The small marten objected as its claws pointed towards the sea of fire to their front, do you see that the sea of fire is split into several paths of fire? Lin Dong's eyes also turned in that direction, only then did he see that the sea of fire had actually been split into countless paths of fire. Is this the method to cross? However, there are so many paths, which one is the true path? Lin Dong asked in astonishment. Ha <laughs> ha, these paths are all fake. Lin Langtian and the rest have been unable to uncover this fact, they tried to follow these paths and instead ended up trapped in the formation. The small marten let out a strange laughter as it said. All fake? Then where is the real one? Lin Dong was once again taken aback. The road before us is the true path. The small marten's claws once again pointed forward. This time, it did not point towards any of the paths, but directly pointed at the burning sea of fire. The most impossible place is usually the most likely one. As it gazed at Lin Dong's shocked expression, the small marten laughed before it appeared in a flash on Lin Dong's shoulder, and lazily said, Let's go, brat, be a little courageous. As he gazed at the raging sea of fire, Lin Dong let out a bitter laugh. You needed more than a little courage to charge into a sea of fire. Ai, I'll try. After pausing on the spot for a while, Lin Dong finally gritted his teeth. Since he had already reached this place, he could not possible retreat. Although Lin Langtian and the rest were trapped, he at least still had this extremely experienced little Martin as his Martin advisor. Since he had made his decision, Lin Dong no longer hesitated. A vigorous Yuan power gushed forth and wrapped around his body. At the same time, the mental energy in his Nguyen palace also began to stir, preparing to deal with any sudden situation that might occur at any time. Thoroughly prepared, Lin Dong's foot slowly stepped forward, as he was on the verge of stepping into the sea of flames, he once again firmly gritted his teeth as he stepped in. As he walked into the sea of fire, the burning pain he anticipated did not come. Only then did Lin Dong's tensed heart finally relax, as he wiped off a layer of sweat from his forehead. Just continue forward. The small marten ridiculed Lin Dong for a while as always, before it waved its claws and said. Lin Dong nodded his head, after calling for little flame, he continued to walk forward into the deeper parts of the flaming sea. The surrounding flames no longer caused Lin Dong to feel unwell, he tried to grab at the flames but instead seemed to have grabbed onto nothingness and he did not feel anything at all. This is truly bizarre. Lin Dong secretly praised in his heart, as he quickened his pace. As he reached the deeper parts, he was gradually able to see Lin Langtian and the rest, who were giving their all to resist the columns of flame which shot out from the sea of fire. For a time, they seemed to be rather flustered. These unlucky fellows had taken the wrong path and had instead ended up in the Great Formation's attack range. In this sea of fire, Lin Dong was able to see Lin Langtian and the rest, however, 
it seems like they were unable to see the former, and it was also because of this, that Lin Dong was finally able to inspect them without fear. At As Lin Dong's gaze swept across the sea of fire above him, he suddenly let out a cry of alarm. This was because he had discovered that the mysterious woman who stood atop the green lotus was unexpectedly not here. Could she also have successfully passed through this great formation? Lin Dong's expression fluctuated. He was only able to effortlessly unravel this great formation under the small Martin's guidance, yet, if that woman had overcome it with her own strength, wouldn't that be a little overwhelming? After all, even people as strong as Lin Langtian and the rest were all stuck here. As Lin Dong's expression was in flux, an illusionary huge bronze door suddenly appeared in the sea of fire to his front. Staring at the seemingly illusory appearance of that huge copper door, Lin Dong's heart slightly sunk. He did not expect that there was indeed someone who had entered already. If he was not wrong, it should be the mysterious woman who stood atop the green lotus. Since I'm already here, no matter what, I'll go in and take a look. Before the huge copper door, Lin Dong hesitated for a moment, in the end, he was not resigned to leave. His figure flashed as he made his way into that illusionary door. As Lin Dong passed through the huge copper door, the scarlet red also completely dissipated. A peaceful stone hall appeared before his eyes. There were not overly extravagant decorations in this stone hall, and it instead looked rather simple and empty. Lin Dong's gaze swept one round around the stone hall before concentrating at its center. A stone coffin without a lid stood there and atop the stone coffin, was a ball of light that emitted a vigorous life force. Lin Dong slightly narrowed his eyes, as he concentrated on that ball of light. Faintly, he could see a dark green heart that seemed to be made of bright energy, which was gently beating. As the dark green heart throbbed, the Yuan power in the huge hall also seemed to shake. Nirvana Heart The small Martin's somewhat astonished voice slowly rang out in Lin Dong's mind. Is that the legendary Nirvana Heart? Lin Dong's gaze concentrated on that ball of light, his eyes were slightly glazed as he slowly stepped forward. However, just as Lin Dong's foot stepped forward, an indifferent voice that was infused with soul energy suddenly rang out in the quiet stone hall. This is not a place you can come to, please withdraw. Lin Dong's foot froze, soon after, he slowly lifted his head, his pupils slightly shrinking as he gazed up in the air. There, a green lotus floated, while a calm as a lotus seed and beautiful figure, was currently gazing at him with a pair of clear eyes, which did not have even the slightest ripples on its surface. Chapter 177, Nirvana Heart from a short distance away, Lin Dong gazed at the mysterious woman, whose bare lily-white feet stepped on the green lotus. He had finally come to realize her breathtaking beauty. Her clear eyes were like a calm and quiet pool, while her light-colored dress lined itself neatly against her almost perfect figure. This kind of woman was akin to a goddess who had fallen from the heavens into this mundane world, she possessed a stunning beauty the kind of beauty that would shock one's heart and move one's soul, so beautiful that it was unreal, but, at the same time, it also caused one to feel a sense of being unattainable. One that should be viewed from afar and never to be touched, like the green lotus below her feet. As Lin Dong's gaze swept over this mysterious woman, the awe in his eyes lasted for quite a while before it finally faded. Little Martin, if we join hands, can be beat her. Difficult. This woman looks rather young, but her strength is especially terrifying. It likely does not lose out in the slightest to Lin Lang Tian. Even if we join hands, we would more likely lose than win. The small Martin's solemn voice quietly sounded out in Lin Dong's mind. If it was at full power, it would naturally not care at all, but now, it did not have the capability to possess such an attitude. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong let out a bitter laugh. His eyes turned as he suddenly clasped his hands together at the mysterious woman and said, I am known as Lin Dong, and I do not have the intention of contesting over the treasure with you. I only came in by mistake in hopes of finding out what the Nirvana practitioner had left behind. May I inquire as to what is this young lady's name? 
even Lin Langtian and the rest had taken a wrong step and fell into the trap of the Great Formation. To have come here, you do indeed have some skill. The veil on the mysterious woman's face lightly trembled, her melodious voice was like precious stones tumbling down, and her tone seemed to have a little indescribable flavor. Evidently, she did not believe that Lin Dong's words of entering by mistake. Not only did she have exceptional looks, she was also clearly highly intelligent. I am called Ling King Zhu, since young master Lin Dong does not wish to contend, then King Zhu will first thank him. Forcefully chasing away someone is not something King Zhu is willing to do. Thus, I hope young master Lin Dong will not mind. In the air, Ling King Zhu bowed towards Lin Dong, however, though her words were especially polite, Lin Dong was able to hear the faint threat behind them. In response, Lin Dong could only spread out his hands. This woman was too terrifying, and he could not defeat her, hence, he could only play it out as a weakling and act according to the circumstances. Furthermore, Lin Dong also understood that he should not trust her words, he was certain that if he truly dared to try anything funny, this woman would not be the slightest bit merciful when she struck. In Yan City, Zia was only cold on the surface, while she was considered pretty nice on the inside. Yet, this absolute beauty before his eyes was different, although she looked polite and even sounded gentle, her heart was likely akin to black ice. This woman was too formidable. So formidable that even the little Martin was rather afraid of her, though this was also due to the current strength it possessed. Upon seeing Lin Dong's actions, Ling King Zhu withdrew her gaze. She had determined Lin Dong's strength. Even though she was still a little doubtful on how the latter had managed to enter this place, in the end, she did not care too much about him. She had seen way too many young geniuses before, and hence, she also had the confidence that even if Lin Dong stayed here, with her strength, she would be able to easily subdue him if he made any movements. Therefore, the fact that she did not forcibly chase out Lin Dong was actually sort of looking down on him from a certain point of view. This was because she believed that no matter what Lin Dong intended to do, it could not possibly affect her at all. Ling King Zhu's eyes shifted away from Lin Dong, as she looked towards the ball of light atop the stone coffin. She had likewise seen the Nirvana heart hidden within it, however, even in the face of such a treasure, only a few tiny ripples surfaced in her limpid eyes. On her face, no delight was displayed. This kind of control was truly out of the ordinary. I did not expect that I would truly find a nirvana heart here. Ling King Zhu's melodious voice held a slight trace of surprise. Soon after, her lily-white hand gently raised, as a green light shot out from the tip of her finger, and transformed into a hand that directly grabbed tightly onto the ball of light. Buzz buzz. In response to Ling King Zhu's grab, the ball of light also quickly started to tremble as it emitted an extremely powerful resistive force. Break. Upon seeing how intense the resistance of the ball of light was, Ling King Zhu once again pointed out in the air, as a petal dropped off from the green lotus below her feet, and transformed into a thread of faintly green light that heavily slammed into the ball of light. Buzz buzz. As the green light attacked, the ball of light immediately shuddered violently, as cracks quietly surfaced one by one. From the looks of it, it was clearly unable to withstand Ling King Zhu's attack. This shuddering did not last for long and the ball of light exploded with a bang sound. As the ball of light exploded, the jade heart within, which was formed by the essence of a Nirvana practitioner's entire life's cultivation, was also revealed in the air. Hua Hua as this nirvana heart was revealed, it was as if a tide of Yuan power suddenly rose up in the stone hall, and the crisp sounds of water flowing actually sounded out. Lin Dong lifted his head as he fervently stared at the glowing dark green energy heart. This was the most valuable and precious treasure in the old tomb. However, the longing in his heart weakened substantially when he saw the beauty atop the green lotus. Lin Dong's eyebrows tightly furrowed although he truly did not want to admit it, he understood that if he made a move, the chances of success was not high. Moreover, he did not believe that this woman, who was so respectfully treated by even Lin Langtian and the rest, 
would truly so simply be at ease while he stayed here. Thus, towards his each and every move, the latter would surely be on guard. In the air, Ling Qingzhu stared at the dark green Nirvana heart which floated before her eyes. Her lily-white hand light grasped, as several green lights shot out from the green lotus below her feet, and shined on the Nirvana heart. Ch ch. As the green lights shined on it, waves of white mist suddenly rose up from the Nirvana heart. Meanwhile, signs of melting appeared on its surface. Swish swish. Lin Qingzhu did not find this scene unexpected, her empty hand gently raised, as more and more green lights swept out from the green lotus, before finally focusing above the Nirvana heart. As an increasing number of green lights gathered, the speed at which the Nirvana heart melted also rapidly increased. A few minutes later, the Nirvana heart had actually been completely transformed into a ball of emerald green liquid. This liquid slowly flowed in the air, faintly emitting an extremely frightening undulation. At the same time, it also exuded an exceedingly strong pressure. Under this pressure, Lin Dong's body seemed to be several times heavier such that even the Yuan power circulating in Lin Dong's body also became sluggish. Immediately, his expression turned extremely solemn. This kind of pressure, which caused Lin Dong to feel as if he was carrying a mountain, did not seem to hinder Lin Qingzhu at all. Her clear eyes concentrated on the ball of emerald green liquid, soon after, she stretched out a white jade-like hand, and gracefully and gently lifted up a corner of her veil. Slightly opening her mouth, the emerald green ball of liquid in midair whizzed into her rosy red mouth. Creak. Lin Dong did not have the time to admire the glimpse of Ling Qingzhu gracefully lifting a corner of her veil. When he saw that this woman had actually swallowed the Nirvana heart in one go without the slightest hesitation, his fist involuntarily tightly clenched, and his gaze continuously flickered as he assessed the pros and cons of making a move now, and his chances of success and failure. This flickering gaze only lasted for mere moments before it finally became calm again. Lin Dong's expression was a little ugly, and his eyes were filled with unwillingness. After weighing his options, he still rationally chose to not to make a move. Perhaps, it was due to his mental energy, he kept sensing that the woman in midair was observing his every move. Forget it, though this Nirvana heart is valuable, it is not worth for me to lose my life over it. Lin Dong's helplessly consoled himself in his heart. Although he was still a little dispirited, he did not have an alternative. The situation was not favorable, and there were no benefits if he chose to fight. While Lin Dong made the decision to give up, Lin Qingzhu, who had already gulped down the liquid formed from the Nirvana heart, suddenly turned around. Her eyes gazed at the former, and soon after, an indifferent laughter sounded out. Young Master Lin Dong is indeed one who keeps his promises. Next, I will be refining the energy of the Nirvana heart, I do hope that the young master will not disturb me. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong let out a hollow laugh, however, he still nodded his head in the end. Ling Qingzhu also did not care how fake or real Lin Dong's smile expression was. She gracefully sat down on the green lotus as her beautiful eyes slowly closed. Soon after, the green lotus emitted a layer of green light, which wrapped around her entire body. AI, truly such horrible luck. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong could not help but curse in a low voice. He had painstakingly reached this final area, but in the end, he did not manage to obtain anything at all. Compared to his huge halls previously, it was practically two extremes. Cursing was after all just cursing. Lin Dong could do nothing about it. Ling Qingzhu's green lotus was obviously an extremely powerful treasure, plus, the latter was still very clearly being on guard against him. Thus, after cursing out, Lin Dong's gaze could only sweep across the stone hall. When he saw the stone coffin, he hesitated for a moment before slowly walking over. Since he was already here, he might as well see if there were any other treasures. When he reached the stone coffin, he saw a skeleton peacefully lying within, which should be the Nirvana stage practitioner. He looked about for a while, and found that besides this skeleton, there was nothing else, to which he immediately sighed in disappointment. 
Elder, I have taken quite a few of your things. This young one will just have to pay my respects. As he cast a glance at the skeleton, Lin Dong helplessly said. After which, he bowed towards the skeleton. Oh! However, just as Lin Dong was about to raise his body, his eyes suddenly discovered that there seemed to be some small words on one side of the coffin walls. Immediately, he hastily concentrated on it. During my life, I've advanced to the nirvana stage through the power of yin and yang. What I've left behind requires yin and yang to understand. And if yin and yang do not come together, one would definitely be destroyed. This short sentence caused Lin Dong to be taken aback. He mulled over it for quite some time with his eyebrows furrowed, only then did he suddenly understand the meaning behind these words. Immediately, he looked towards the Ling Kingzu in midair, as his face instantly turned extremely interesting and strange. Chapter 178, Forcefully Seizing Yang Energy This so-called yin and yang energy naturally did not refer to the yin and yang energy from heaven and earth, but rather the male yang and the female yin. Put nicely, it would be called yin and yang energy, while bluntly put, it would be called twin training energy. A more pleasant name for the people who utilized this method, would be joyful grandmasters, while an uglier term would be corrupt practitioners, and an uglier term would be, pervert. Hence, when Lin Dong discovered that the owner of this old tomb had actually relied on this method to advance to the nirvana stage, his face turned immensely exciting. Then, he turned to look at Ling King Zhu, who was sitting in midair on her green lotus. From these small carvings, Lin Dong knew that this old tomb's owner had done it on purpose. After all, who would bother to find these insignificant scribblings on the corner of the coffin? Furthermore, if most people did not understand the mystery hidden within these words and started refining the nirvana heart, then the final outcome would be as written on that coffin's wall, they would be destroyed. Even in death, the owner of this old tomb wanted to torment others, this truly made one speechless. Under Lin Dong's gaze, Ling Qingzu, who was seated on the green lotus, still seemed fairly calm and the so-called destruction of her body did not occur. This caused Lin Dong to somewhat doubt the authenticity of the words in the coffin. Don't tell me these words are purposely left as a joke. Lin Dong was somewhat disappointed as he mumbled. Bang! However, just as Lin Dong finished mumbling, the sound of an energy shockwave suddenly echoed out in the air. He hurriedly lifted his head to look, only to find that a violent energy shockwave had suddenly appeared from the middle of the green lotus, and, the origin of that shockwave was Ling King Zhu's body. As expected. When he saw this sight, Lin Dong's heart jumped. Inside the green lotus, Ling King Zhu exposed snow white skin instantly became slightly reddish. Meanwhile, an extremely pure yin energy continuously gushed forth from her body causing ripples to form on the screen of light from the green lotus. Right now, Ling King Zhu evidently realized that there was something amiss, as a cold look flowed in her eyes. Lifting her thin hands, an extremely strong Yuan power exploded forth from her body, as she tried to forcefully suppress the devastating pure Yin energy. The green lotus flickered, as waves of violent energy unendingly gushed out from Ling King Zhu's body. One could tell that her body had descended into a fierce internal battle. Below, when Lin Dong saw that this Ling King Zhu actually managed to temporarily suppress the power of even the Nirvana heart, he involuntarily licked his lips. This woman's strength was truly terrifying indeed. However, even though they were in a stalemate, it was only temporary. After all, the Nirvana heart was the essence of a Nirvana stage practitioner. Thus, Regardless of how amazing Ling King Zhu was, there was still a wide gap between them. Hence, the battle between these two forces only lasted for several minutes, before the light screen of the green lotus was forcefully broken apart, and Ling King Zhu's body was shrouded by a layer of an extremely pure yin energy. Normally, this would be extremely beneficial to Ling King Zhu. However, if one absorbs too much of this kind of thing, it would become a lethal poison. If one was unable to dispel this pure yin energy and allow it to accumulate too long in one's body, it would transform into pure yin fire and burn one's body from within. 
shameless one. Atop the green lotus, Ling Qingzhu's body suddenly stood up. Her voice was icy, and she waved her lily-white hand, as an extremely formidable Yuan power shot out and turned into a giant palm, which ruthlessly smashed the stone coffin of the Nirvana stage practitioner. Boom! A loud sound rang out, as the stone coffin and the skeleton within were directly reduced to dust by Ling Qingzhu. When he saw this sight, the corners of Lin Dong's mouth began to twitch. This woman was indeed no virtuous soul. More moments after she had obtained his Nirvana heart, she flipped and destroyed his remains. Lin Dong very cautiously backed off. Right now, this woman seemed to have become a little crazy. If he went forward now, he would probably be smashed to death. Right now, both of them did not realize that there was a faintly flickering red light hidden within the debris of the stone coffin. After she leveled the stone coffin with her palm, Ling Qingzhu's wondrous figure once again began to shudder. She could feel a ball of fire gradually forming inside her body. This flame was not scorching hot, but instead was filled with an endless icy chilling cold. In response to that flame, the vigorous Yuan power inside her body began to show signs of freezing. Based on her current strength, it was still quite difficult for her to match up to the remnants of a Nirvana stage practitioner. A desperate glint flashed across Ling Qingzhu's eyes. Moments later, she gritted her silver-like teeth, as she turned towards the only other person around. When he saw Ling Qingzhu's gaze, Lin Dong's face slightly trembled. As he slowly stepped back, he forced a smile and said, Miss Qingzhu, I believe that I should not linger here any longer. Let me make a move first. Goodbye. After he spoke, he directly escaped towards the huge bronze door. When she saw Lin Dong so swiftly running away, Ling Qingzhu was so enraged that she let out a laugh. Why didn't you be more tactful and leave previously? Unfortunately, Lin Dong's wish to escape was not granted. Before he could leap out through that huge bronze door, an extremely powerful force gushed forth from behind him and heavily slammed against that huge bronze door, causing it to shut tightly. When he saw the tightly shut bronze door, Lin Dong could only turn around. He stared at Ling Qingzhu who was floating nearby on her green lotus, as his eyebrows furrowed, What do you want? It's not my fault you got duped. Do you know what's wrong with the Nirvana heart? Upon hearing these words, a cold glint flashed across Ling Qingzhu's eyes, as her beautiful voice suddenly turned ice cold. It was written in the coffin. However, I only discovered it after you ate the Nirvana heart. Did you not notice it? Lin Dong hurriedly clarified. Right now, this woman was not as friendly as before. If he said the wrong thing, perhaps she might directly launch a palm attack at him. Ling Qingzhu's face was in flux, evidently extremely enraged. She naturally did not bother to check for any messages on the coffin. If she had bothered to do so, she would not be in such a sorry state. Young Master Lin Dong As Ling Qingzhu's facial expression was in flux, the pure yin energy surrounding her intensified. Staring at Lin Dong, her originally cold voice suddenly turned much gentler. What is it? If anyone received such luxurious treatment from this fairy-like beauty, their bones would probably turn to jelly. However, Lin Dong felt something was amiss, as he cautiously replied. Ling Qingzhu wishes to borrow the yang energy inside your body. After this issue is resolved, I shall give you a fair compensation. Ling Qingzhu softly said. That's no good. My master told me that before I reached the Nirvana stage, I must remain a virgin. Lin Dong released a hollow laugh as he said. Lin Dong was obviously bullshitting. He did not have any mentors, nor was he instructed to remain a virgin before he reached the Nirvana stage. Therefore, his actual intention was to reject her. Young master does not need to worry. We do not require intercourse to obtain Yang energy. King Zhu has other means. When she heard Lin Dong's words, Ling Qingzhu's lily-white hands slightly clenched. Soon after, she chuckled in an indifferent manner as she said. Lin Dong, be careful. This woman plans to forcefully seize the yang energy from your body. 
if she is successful, this will hurt your body's foundations and leave severe repercussions. The small Martin's solemn voice suddenly rang out inside Lin Dong's mind. Ha <laughs> ha, if this was done through the usual means, both parties will benefit. However, this lady is obviously too virtuous, as even young geniuses like Lin Langtian would find it difficult to enter her eyes. Therefore, she would naturally not utilize such means with you. Don't dream that she would give you her pure body. Damn it, this woman is truly vicious. When he heard the small Martin's words, Lin Dong's scalp turned numb as he replied without the slightest bit of hesitation, Miss Ling Kingzu, please look for someone else. I believe that I am unsuitable. After all, there is still Lin Langtian and the rest outside. You. When she heard these words, Ling Kingzu's expression turned furious. Lin Dong's words were too much. Young Master Lin Dong, King Zhu has promised. Regardless of how great your loss, I will compensate you several fold. Even though she was angry, Ling King Zhu was obviously cultured. Even at this juncture, she still gently inhaled as she tried her best to soften her tone. Not interested, goodbye. Lin Dong ignored her words. He cupped his fist before immediately dashing backwards. At the same time, a mysterious ice sword appeared below his feet, while the ancient heavenly scales halberd appeared in his hand. Bang! While Lin Dong retreated, Little Flame dashed forth and heavily slammed against that large bronze door. Its powerful force directly and slowly pushed open the tightly shut bronze door. When she saw this sight, Ling Qingzhu's eyes turned ice cold. Based on her current condition, she could not afford to wait any longer. Immediately, she waved her lily-white hand, as several green lights of rope were fired from the green lotus below her feet. Just like a heavenly net, they flew towards Lin Dong. Since young master Lin Dong does not wish to cooperate, please excuse King Zhu. When he saw Lin King Zhu finally make her move, Lin Dong's facial expression slightly sunk. The Yuan power inside his body gushed forth as a dark red glow erupted from the ancient heavenly scales halberd. The halberd flashed, and heavily thrust at the incoming green ropes. Ding ding! Sparks erupted in midair each time he collided against the green ropes, while Lin Dong could feel an extremely powerful resulting force violently gushing forth. Even though it was mostly absorbed by the ancient heavenly scales halberd, the remaining impact still jolted Lin Dong backwards causing a sweet sensation to gush up in his throat. It seemed like the gap between him and Ling Kingzu was too large after all. Swoosh swoosh. In midair, the green shadow danced across the sky. Unknowingly, it had turned into green flashes and completely surrounded Lin Dong, restricting his range of movements. Ch. As his movements were restricted, Lin Dong was unable to completely utilize his ancient heavenly scales halberd. Due to a slip in his concentration, these green ropes dashed forward and directly tied Lin Dong up. After she subdued Lin Dong, Ling Qingzhu slowly approached him atop her green lotus. As she stared at Lin Dong's enraged expression, she did not speak. Extending her jade-like finger, she gently tapped on the latter's forehead. Then, Lin Dong immediately felt that something important within his body was about to be forcefully taken away. Small Martin, let's join hands against her. With a maniacal glint in his eyes, Lin Dong roared in his mind. At the same time, he was prepared to use the mid-tier symbol puppet that he had obtained earlier. Even if he had to use a huge chunk of his pure Yuan pills, he could not let this woman steal his Yang energy. Wait. With regards to Lin Dong's roar, the small Martin suddenly replied. How can I wait? If I wait any longer, I will be sucked dry. When he heard this reply, Lin Dong was so angry that he nearly vomited blood. Oh, I did not want to witness such a scene. Just as the small Martin's words fell, a slightly playful voice suddenly echoed out in the empty stone hall, causing Lin Dong and Lin Qingzhu to both be taken aback. As they hurriedly turned to look, they saw that above that stone coffin debris, a small red dot was hovering in midair before it finally transformed into an illusory figure and smiled at the two of them. 
Chapter 179, Master of the Tomb The glowing shadow was in an illusionary state and evidently did not possess substance. It looked to be about thirty years in age, appearing extremely young, with his lustrous face and scholarly look. Who are you? When she saw this person who had suddenly appeared, Ling Qingzhu's long and shapely eyebrows slightly knitted together as she said in a low voice. He he, such a violent woman, smashing my bones and stone coffin to bits and still asking who I am. Upon hearing these words, the scholarly man could not help but slightly smirk as he said. After hearing this, Lin Dong's and Ling Qingzhu's expressions abruptly changed, you are the master of the tomb. He he, no need to be nervous. I have indeed truly died. This is only remnant you and spirit, plus, I was sealed within the stone coffin, if you did not destroy the stone coffin, I would never have appeared. The scholarly man chuckled as he replied. Shameless one, to think that an elder would actually use such despicable means. Ling Qingzhu bit her teeth, as the rage within her clear eyes gushed forth. Matters between man and woman are originally in accordance to the yin and yang of heaven and earth, how can you call it shameless? As long as a couple are harmonious and complement each other, would that not be better? The scholarly man said. Nonsense, I will settle this problem myself. Ling Qingzhu replied. Your method is not a good thing to this youngster. The scholarly man replied in an indifferent tone. I will definitely repay him. No need for you to meddle. I cannot do that, I've set up this hurdle not to cause harm to others, but for the beauty of becoming an adult. A strange smile surfaced on the scholarly man's face. His gaze swept over Lin Dong's and Ling Qingzhu's bodies, as he slightly smiled and said, Young chap, you are truly fortunate, even I have never seen such an absolute beauty before, you must treat her well in future. An odd look filled Lin Dong's face. This guy, did he have a problem with his head? What do you plan on doing? Upon hearing his words, Lin Qingzhu's expression turned frosty, and her voice also became even more icy. The beauty of becoming an adult. The scholarly man slightly chuckled, soon after, his hand pointed in the air, as the nirvana heart that was absorbed into Lin Qingzhu's body thoroughly exploded. An extremely pure yin energy was like a tide as it gushed forth. In a flash, it completely froze the Yuan power in Ling Qingzhu's body. As the Yuan power in Ling Qingzhu's body was frozen, a feeling of weakness immediately appeared. Meanwhile, a bright light also erupted from the green lotus below her feet, desperately trying to dispel the pure Yin energy in Ling Qingzhu's body. Sensing the changes in her body, an alarmed look finally surfaced in Ling Qingzhu's limpid eyes. Oh! Possessing such a treasure! Looks like your background is not weak. However, to a dead man like me, it means nothing. Upon seeing that the green lotus had actually resisted the spread of the pure yin energy, the scholarly man was also a little astonished. Soon after, he laughed as his finger once again pointed out in the air. A ray of light shot out and straight away wrapped around the green lotus, completely separating it from Ling Qingzhu. Buzz buzz. The green lotus frantically struggled as it shot out rays of light. However, it was still unable to escape the scholarly man's seal. As the green lotus was sealed, the green ropes of light that tied up Lin Dong also completely dissipated. Once he had escaped from his bindings, he rapidly retreated without hesitation. He did not expect that, in the end, even an already dead Nirvana practitioner would show himself. It was best not to linger too long in such a scary place. He <laughs> he, little one, I'm giving you something good, why are you running? Upon seeing Lin Dong back away, the scholarly man merely let out a laugh in response. He <laughs> he, this young one understands the elder's good intentions, however, I truly do not want this thing. Lin Dong let out a hollow laugh. After taking a look at Ling Qingzu, who had been suppressed such that she could not even lift a finger, he was able to guess what this scholarly man was up to. Perhaps, doing it with such a beauty was every man's dream, but, after that, the troubles that followed would not be small. No one can reject the things I want to give. 
The scholarly man smiled as he shook his head. His finger pointed out as Lin Dong's body froze, before once again floating towards the struggling Ling Qingzu against his control. Oh, I'm still missing something to start this. As he gazed at Ling Qingzu, who was glaring at Lin Dong as they faced each other, the scholarly man rubbed his chin. With a flick of his finger, two pink lights swept forth, before finally tunneling into Lin Dong's and Ling Qingzu's bodies. Once the pink light entered his body, Lin Dong felt his body instantly start to heat up. A nefarious fire appeared in his lower abdomen and quickly spread across his entire body. While Lin Dong's body was burning, Lin Qingzu's exposed snow white skin also started to turn especially red. Her originally limpid eyes were also struggling as they were gradually filled with an erotic mist. Her body was practically filled with the pure yin energy, and in front of her, Lin Dong's body emitted pure yang energy. This kind of feeling was as if an extremely cold person saw a warm stove, and could not help but leap towards it. Shameless one. As her rationality gradually faded, Ling Qingzu's marvelous figure continued to tremble, but, she still gritted her teeth as her voice softly sounded out. Everything happens for a reason. If you did not destroy the stone coffin, I would not appear. However, since I have already appeared, you will naturally have to follow my rules, the scholarly man had a smile on his face as he spoke. Elder, this is no fun, I think it's better to let me go. Lin Dong persistently endured. The scholarly man had his hands behind his back and a small smile on his face, but he did not say anything in response. God damn it, this is too much. Small Martin. Small Martin. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong could do nothing but cry out in his mind. However, the small Martin which usually appeared had completely disappeared at this time. No matter how Lin Dong cried, it did not say even half a word in response. This angered Lin Dong so much that he almost saw stars. This guy was too unreliable, such a letdown at this critical moment. However, while Lin Dong was doing his best to resist the burning nefarious flame in his body, a slim lotus root-like arm suddenly touched his neck. A soft and tender body that did not seem to have any bones was like a water snake as it stuck itself into Lin Dong's embrace, while a fragrance gushed into up his nostrils. Boom! The fragrance and the softness in his arms was like a fuse that had been ignited, causing Lin Dong's eyes to momentarily turn red. He bitterly endured as his mind grew increasingly weak. Lin Dong, if you dare to touch me, when I regain my senses, I will definitely take your life. The beauty lay powerless in Lin Dong's embrace. The eyes of the originally unattainable goddess was now like silk, as she transformed into an enchanting demoness who could steal one's soul. She faintly panted as she leaned against Lin Dong, but a soft voice still sounded out from under her veil. Upon seeing that this woman still dared to utter such fierce words even at this moment, Lin Dong was first taken aback, but soon after, he became furious. Once he recalled that woman had previously ignored whether he lived and died in order to forcefully seize his yang energy, he became so angry that he could not forgive her. I will make sure you see how I touch you today. His rage burned, as his eyes turned scarlet red. His rationality had been directly destroyed by Ling Qingzu's words. With a roar, his tossed aside the fear in his heart and reached out his hand, tearing away the veil on Ling Qingzu's face with a single swipe. Ch. The veil slowly fell, and the shockingly gorgeous face below was finally revealed. Even though he already knew that she would be extremely beautiful under the veil, in that moment, Lin Dong still lost his breath so much so that even his already faded rationality, once again temporarily surfaced because of this incomparably alarming beauty. A glance can cause a city to be ruined, and a second glance the entire kingdom. Such an exceptional beauty. Even the scholarly man softly praised out in this moment. Soon after, he slightly smiled as his hand gently raised. Rays of light swept forth, before transforming into a thick ball of light which directly wrapped around Lin Dong and Ling Qingzu. Little one, the fact that you've obtained the ancient heavenly scales halberd, makes me feel that our meeting was fated. Since you've paid your respects to me, 
let me send you another gift. The ball of light condensed, and the scholarly man once again chuckled. A beam of light shot out from the tip of his finger before entering the ball of light and into Lin Dong's mind. Hee hee, I can still enjoy the beauty of becoming an adult even after death, truly marvelous indeed. After finishing his words, the scholarly man finally nodded his head in satisfaction. Letting out a hearty laughter to the skies, his body slowly burst open and transformed into numerous specks of light which scattered away. As the scholarly man disappeared, the stone hall became completely quiet. Only the massive ball of light was left as it floated in mid-air. Faintly, palpitating thoughts of love quietly emitted from within. The two fuzzy figures tightly joined together in the ball of light, like yin and yang, and the mixture of water and milk. The silence in the stone hall lasted for quite some time, before finally being broken by a soft ka-cha sound. On the ball of light, lines of cracks swiftly formed. Bang! The cracks quickly spread, and in a few short moments, it exploded with a loud bang. As the ball of light transformed into specks of light which filled the sky, two figures also quickly swept out from within. The young man's strong and healthy figure landed on the ground, completely dressing himself while still in mid-air. Once he landed, he did not hesitate in the slightest as the tip of his foot pushed off the ground and directly transformed into a blurred figure which rushed towards the huge copper door. Little flame, quickly leave. Lin Dong was evidently extremely loyal. At this time, he did not forget to warn Little Flame, which was lying on the ground while waiting for him. After hearing his voice, Little Flame also swiftly leaped forward, before quickly fleeing. Dozens of meters were crossed in the blank of an eye. However, just as Lin Dong was about to escape through the huge copper door, an ice-cold aura of death was like a demoness, as it appeared before him. Swish! The beautiful figure appeared and likewise did not say anything, as her lily-white hand raised. A green light filled with a formidable and cold murderous aura swiftly shot out. Chapter 180, Trouble A green light containing killing intent violently shot towards Lin Dong. Slightly astonished, the tip of his foot pushed off the ground as his figure once again rapidly retreated. Meanwhile, with a flick of his mind, mental energy gathered before him to form a defensive layer. TCH The mental energy defense did not achieve any significant effect, as the green light practically tore it apart in an instant, before charging at Lin Dong's throat without losing any speed. However, though it did not achieve much, in that short period, the ancient heavenly scales halberd was once again summoned in Lin Dong's hand. Yuan power gushed forth, and the halberd viciously whizzed through the air to heavily clash against the green light. Bang! An energy shockwave erupted from the collision, as a strong gale swept outwards. Lin Dong's body was also jolted back dozens of steps, as he jabbed his ancient halberd onto the ground, before slowly stabilizing his body. Perfect Yuan Dan stage. Having stabilized himself, amazement suddenly flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. This was because, he had discovered that his current strength had unknowingly rose dramatically. Based on his guess, the current him had mysteriously made a breakthrough to the perfect Yuan Dan level. Furthermore, he was faintly able to sense that his body had also grown much stronger. Or else, given his previous level of strength, he would have at least spat out a mouthful of blood on the spot after receiving Ling King Zhu's attack. Of course, Lin Dong also understood that this did not mean he possessed the power to face off against Ling King Zhu. The latter's strength was still too frightening, if he faced her head on, he would definitely not be her match. After all, the gap between the Yuan Dan stage and the creation stage was not so easily overcome. With his body stabilized, Lin Dong's eyes looked towards the huge bronze door. There, a green lotus hovered, and atop the green lotus, Ling King Zhu's entire being was emitting a cold murderous aura, while extreme rage and coldness gushed out from her clear eyes. Lecher, I will definitely take your life today. Ling King Zhu stared at Lin Dong, her melodious voice was so cold that it cut into the bone. It's not my fault, everything was done by that guy. As he gazed at Ling King Zhu, 
who was like a piece of black ice, Lin Dong's scalp began to turn a little numb. His gaze swept across the stone hall, but did not find even the slightest trace of that scholarly man. Immediately, he could not help but curse out in his heart. You have to pay the price for disgracing my purity. Ling Qingzu's eyes were ice cold. She admittedly knew who the ringleader of this affair was, but this was no reason for her to so easily let Lin Dong go. She was just and proud by nature, over the years, she had seen countless young and outstanding talents, and there were no geniuses or monsters she had not seen before. Yet, even these people were unable to draw even the slightest bit of her attention. However, she had actually lost her purity in such a rundown place today. Moreover, her partner, was an ordinary and unremarkable guy. In the past, this kind of person would perhaps be unable to draw even a glance from her. Yet, such a person had now directly taken away her purity. At this thought, even with Ling Qingzu's temperament, an uncontainable humiliation and murderous intent rose up in her heart. I will erect a grave for you after I killed you. Green light slowly blossomed from the green lotus below Ling Qingzu's feet. Soon after, the lights flashed, and her body strangely disappeared. TCH Upon seeing that Ling Qingzu had strangely disappeared, Lin Dong's pupils suddenly shrunk. Powerful mental energy immediately swept forth, and in the next moment, the ancient heavenly scales halberd in his hand seemed to bring a scarlet wind with it, tearing apart the air, as it fiercely flicked upwards. The ancient halberd struck, but only managed to pierce an after-image. After seeing that Ling Qingzu's strength was actually so frightening, Lin Dong's expression drastically changed. He grasped tightly onto the shaft of the halberd with both hands, as his body abruptly started to spin. Like a storm, a formidable gale enshrouded his body. Woo-woo! The halberd flashed, as powerful winds left rows of deep gashes on the ground. Ding! Images of halberds danced in the skies, suddenly, a slender and white jade-like hand directly reached into the storm. The lily-white hand clenched as the halberds which filled the skies instantly dissipated, while the shaft of the ancient heavenly scales halberd was directly grabbed by Ling Qingzu. No matter how much strength Lin Dong exerted, he was unable to budget at all. With a lily-white hand restraining the ancient heavenly scales halberd, Ling Qingzu's exquisite figure flickered, as her body gracefully approached Lin Dong. Her other hand was as light as a feather as it swept towards Lin Dong's chest, the green light encircling it giving off a deadly killing intent. As he felt the extremely formidable green light on Ling Qingzu's palm, Lin Dong's heart skipped a beat. However, just as he was about to use all his power to fight back, the tightly shut huge bronze door behind them suddenly burst open with a bang, transforming into countless fragments which shot outwards, causing several deep holes in the ground. While the huge bronze door burst apart, a few figures also swept out as quick as lightning. After which, they quickly took in the scene before their eyes. Because Lin Dong's back was facing the huge bronze door, the few people who entered seemed to see Ling Qingzhu closely snuggling against Lin Dong. This scene directly caused the three originally extremely calm and collected individuals to be dumbstruck. Ling Qingzhu also sensed the huge bronze door being blown apart, immediately, the terrifying green light on her lily-white hand weakened substantially, before landing on Lin Dong's chest. Bang! A huge force hit his chest, as Lin Dong's body was directly blown backwards. However, due to the huge increase in his strength, his body once flipped in mid-air, before healthily landing on the ground. He swiftly retreated several steps, as he tightly grasped the ancient heavenly scales halberd in his hand, while vigilantly staring at Ling Qingzu. Miss Qingzu, this is. Gazing at the scene, the trio who had entered were a little taken aback. Soon after, one of them slightly smiled as he asked. Nothing much, I was only having a brief exchange with this young master. Currently, the murderous aura and coldness in Ling Qingzu's eyes had practically disappeared in an instant, as she regained the seemingly gentle demeanor from before, while her tone was tinged with a deep feeling of repelling one a thousand miles. 
The trio which had entered was naturally Ling Langtian, Wang Yan, and Qin Shi, who were all previously stuck within the Great Formation. After they heard Ling Qingzhu's words, their gazes turned towards Lin Dong, as their eyebrows slightly furrowed. Naturally, they could tell that Lin Dong was only at the perfect Yuan Dan stage. Compared to Ling Qingzhu, the difference between them was huge, why the need to exchange blows with him? The trio's gazes were tinged with an interrogatory flavor as they looked at Lin Dong, before they withdrew their gazes. The latter's looks and strength were unable to make them feel even the slightest bit threatened. Miss King Zhu, from the looks of it, I'm afraid the Nirvana heart already has an owner right. Ling Lang Tian took a look at the empty stone hall, as he gently chuckled and said. The three of you were a step too late. Ling King Zhu winked as she softly replied. Unfortunate. It's all because of that formation. Upon hearing this, Wang Yan felt helpless, soon after, he acted magnanimous as he let out a hearty laughter, however, the fact that Miss King Zhu was able to obtain it also means that she is capable. Although this Nirvana heart has a chance to give one the potential to reach the Nirvana stage, the three of us do not mind. Even without it, advancing to the Nirvana stage is merely a matter of time. Then many thanks to young master Wang Yan. Ling King Zhu softly chuckled. Though the veil covered her face, its beautiful contours were still astonishing, causing the fire in Wang Yan's eyes to burn even brighter. Hi, since the Nirvana heart already has an owner, I will take my leave first. Upon seeing Ling King Zhu and the top members of the Great Yan Empire's younger generation chatting cheerfully together, Lin Dong did not know why but he felt a little unwell in his heart, immediately, he spoke out and planned to leave. Lin Lang Tian, Wang Yan, and Qin Shi did not take much notice of Lin Dong. A mere perfect Yuan Dan stage was not enough to draw their attention. Stop! However, though the trio ignored him, Ling Qingzhu bit her teeth as she shouted out. Oh! Upon seeing this normally elegant and calm Ling Qingzhu unexpectedly forget herself in this manner, Lin Lang Tian and the other two were stunned. Soon after, their eyebrows once again furrowed, as their gazes shifted towards Lin Dong. They were not fools, Ling Qingzhu's reaction was somewhat different from usual. Miss Qingzhu, is there anything else? Upon seeing that this woman still refused to let him go, Lin Dong could only halt in his step as he somewhat helplessly asked. Upon hearing this, Ling Qingzhu paused. At this time, she could not possibly speak like before, right? However, this woman was intelligent, she only paused a little before her indifferent voice sounded out, the young master's martial art is exquisite, previously, we have yet to decide the victor. King Zhu will follow you out and find a place to continue our duel, how does that sound? Young master Ling Lang Tian, King Zhu will first bid her farewells. If I have time, I will come and visit again. After saying these words, Ling Qingzhu bowed towards Ling Langtian and the other two, before she slowly walked towards Lin Dong under the trio's astonished gazes. As they stared at Ling Qingzhu's elegant figure, Ling Longtian's and their other two's eyebrows knitted together even more tightly. At this time, even an idiot could tell that something must have happened between Lin Dong and the former. Exquisite martial art, how exquisite could a brat at the Yuan Dan stage be? How could he possibly compare to the three of them? who were the elite among the Great Yan Empire's younger generation. Among the trio, the most prideful Wang Yan's eyes could not help but slightly narrow. He stared at Lin Dong's back, as he adjusted the jade ring on his thumb. I admit defeat. Upon seeing Lin Qingzhu gracefully approaching, Lin Dong hastily said. However, Lin Qingzhu's eyes were ice cold, ignoring him as she walked to Lin Dong's side and coldly said, Go. Lin Dong bitterly laughed, his gaze slightly flickered, as thoughts of how to escape swiftly spun in his mind. While Lin Dong's gaze was flickering, another group of figures rushed in from the opened bronze door. At the head of the group, was Wang Pan, Lin Ker, and the rest. When Wang Pan and the rest entered, they quickly spotted Lin Dong. A sneer flashed across the former's face as they quickly swarmed towards Wang Yan, before softly speaking into his ear. Upon witnessing this scene, 
Lin Dong's expression slightly sunk. He knew that these guys were definitely talking about him. Go. While Lin Dong's expression turned gloomy, beside him, Ling Qingzhou's indifferent voice once again sounded out. Wait a moment. However, just as Lin Dong planned to leave this place first, a calm voice suddenly rang out behind him as expected. It's here. After hearing this voice, Lin Dong slowly exhaled in his heart. In the end, he was unable to avoid these troubles.